Good morning. So I've decided to vlog randomly today. I don't know. See if you guys enjoy this video. If I enjoy editing it and putting it together, then maybe I'll do some more. Maybe it'll be like summer vlogs. Um, so I just ran to the grocery store. I live in this outfit. Um, I wish I had it in a bunch of colors. I wish the top was a bit a fit differently or a little bit better because sometimes I feel like I'm going to fall out of it. It's just the way it, it fits. But anyways, I love stuff like this to lounge in. Um, just so you know, one of my little dreams is to create some loungewear. Would you guys support a line if I created loungewear? <laughs> anyways, um, so yesterday I randomly decided to have um, some girlfriends join me today to do a bit of a like pool hangout because I feel like since I've had a baby it's hard to make plans with people or when they invite me I always say no because I'm either working or taking care of my baby or both at once or you know it, it's just hard sometimes to do things so I figured you know what let me just see who's available and we'll do like a little hangout today and everyone seemed to be available. So that's what we're doing. And I started at Target yesterday and I picked up these little cute cups in the dollar section. Um, and then I thought about what I could do with them and I'll show you what I decided. Last night I just took fruit that was already in the fridge. So I had some grapes and some strawberries and I just kind of put them in the cups and wrapped this up um, but then I wanted to add something else so <laughs> I have these blueberries and now I'm just gonna add these isn't that cute putting away some water to get cold um, I just have water and I think I'm gonna do just like lemonade as well no alcohol because we're boring like that and I guess with pregnancy and breastfeeding we just have not really had any alcohol around my husband and I have never been really big drinkers so yeah boring no samosa or <laughs> I said samosas oh god that's just a show I meant to say mimosas lame so I picked up some mini ice creams just gonna be four or five of us hanging out so I got the small ones um pralines and cream chocolate chip and rainbow sherbet which is my favorite and I'm going to be using those little cups again so what I'm going to do is make some virgin mimosas. I don't know. I'm just going with it. So I have in my ice cubes. I'm going to do tangerine lemonade. And I'll add some of the pineapple mango. I already shook these up. And then I'm going to add some ginger ale for that punch. Oh, and this is from Target. I could not resist. I thought it was so cute. Stay humble and hustle hard. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Side note. See how it has all these little like open pore looking things? Does anyone have that phobia? I, I can't even remember what it's called. Trypophobia or something like that. Let me know in the comments because I didn't know that I kind of have it until... Recently, it's like pretty much anyone that can't handle seeing stuff like this. I'll actually, get it out of the shot. <laughs> Oil of Olay, they posted this um, ad for, if I can find it, I'll post it. It's like white strawberries. Ooh, if you see the ad, it's so disgusting. It made my skin crawl. It looked like just open pores with like little bloody spots. It was so nasty. So yeah, I realized I, I do kind of have that phobia. Okay, and so the rest of the little snacks, I got some of these and some hummus. These are awesome. And I really love these. <laughs> um, and just some more fruits. And we'll probably order some food food, I'm guessing. Oh, and I made like little gift bags because I'm really extra. <laughs> um, I put like a bunch of like PR makeup that was sent to me in different bags for my girls. I know I had to show you this. This is actually a picnic blanket. It's from Target. I think it's on sale right now too. So 
I would highly suggest it. Um, you can just unroll it and then just lay it out and then roll it back up, Velcros into a bit of a tote bag. Really practical and cute. There's just something about oatmeal cookies that look homemade. <laughs> I definitely don't have time to make cookies. So, we're just gonna have to do this. Now I usually go to Trader Joe's from a flowers because I find the deals really good but three for 12 meh, not bad these are actually pretty big too so these are from the grocery store and I'm just gonna put them together real quick so if you're ever looking for flowers that are cheap and last forever just get carnations I mean I'm personally my favorite type of flowers are very really tropical flowers I love like bird of paradise flowers but um and others that I can't even remember the name of <laughs> But I love carnations because they last forever. So many bright colors. You mix them together, they look really cute and they look more expensive than they are. So yeah, you can get them at Trader Joe's for super, super cheap. Um, but I got these from the grocery store from Publix for three for 12. Put them together, boom, they look nice. They make you feel good. Isn't she cute? I can't believe this boy is still napping in here. He's not! Hey, boo! <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Five months. He is five months. Look how cute this outfit is. Show them your outfit. This is from Zara. I'm obsessed with this outfit. I don't want him to grow out of it. Don't grow out of it, okay? Promise. Promise. Deal. Shake on it. So Zen loves staring at these every morning. Don't you? He does. I'd show you other things in here, but it's a bit of a mess. I gotta clean up right now, actually. Um, so I'll check back in in a bit. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. show you this really quick it's part of the gift I have um, putting together for my friend's baby girl you guys might know her she's on Instagram at happy truths so I'm hoping to visit um, Nashville possibly later this week my husband and I are thinking of going for a couple days since he has some days off so we'll give this to her and the other stuff in person if that is the case I swear it's a mess, but I'll just show you really quick. This is um, Zen's first painting. I helped him with, obviously. Um, he pretty much like slid his body into it <laughs> and then dragged his fingers across. Um, that was for my husband for Father's Day. And isn't this amazing? This um, artist I follow on Instagram, she painted this for me. And she posted it as a surprise and then I was like, uh, how can I buy this? I love it. <laughs> and so I purchased it off of her. It's absolutely amazing. It's a, the, a copy of an actual picture I posted on Instagram. So if you me on Instagram, you probably saw this around Mother's Day. Um, the, the real photo and then she painted it. I love it. I have to get it framed. So for now, it waits. Oh, and a baby lint brush because, you know, essentials. Hello. Okay, it's definitely too loud, so I turn it off. It was a gift. I probably would never spend that much on that, but it's a gift. Hopefully, say I'm gonna use it. Um, so I'm just about to go in the shower so that I could go in the pool. <laughs> I need to shave my legs and figure out my hair. I don't know. Um, so my video just went live on how to style leggings and. I kind of hated the I hated the lighting in the video. It was such a rainy day and it was bugging me. I kind of wanted to refilm it, but it's so hard with the baby now to figure out like my time and figured it would still be helpful for people, even though I wasn't crazy about how it turned out. Um, I still put it out there because I didn't spend time on it. So I'm constantly trying to figure out the balance of obviously doing my work and then 
um, spending time with my baby, but then also spending time with my husband when he's off. So he and he always says, you know, like, why don't you just do the work when I'm off? That way, you know, he can occupy Zen and I have free time to do it. And then it, it seems like a good idea. But then when he's off, I just want to hang out with him. <laughs> so, so what I try to do is try to film when Zen's sleeping um, in the day, which feels like five minutes when you get into it. And then if the weather's not that great, like outside was gray that day, the lighting was crap. And I was just like, oh, God, oh, I just want to make it work and get it done. So I got it done. Um, I wasn't crazy about the lighting. I would have done more looks too, but again, time management. So yeah, that's just the reality, but, um, it's not a bad problem. It's just working it out and making it work. Hmm. That was interesting. I'm just going through mail and this came, I ordered these on sale from Old Navy. Um, and I just thought, Oh, they look, wait, what size is this? That looks so tiny. What? How is that 12 to 18 months? Unless those are little bloomers. Oh yeah, maybe they're like little shorts. Yeah, that looks more, more that looks more like it. So anyways, they're pajamas, but not in my world. They are not pajamas to me. These are going out in public because they're just so cute. And it's kind of hard to find really cute boy stuff, I find. Well, stuff that I think I love. And I don't know, I had a whole rant about it. How I don't really want to have him wearing sharks with like big teeth. Because to me, he's my precious little baby. And these all these boys' clothes right now have sharks all over them. And it, it kind of breaks my heart. Why can't there be any little cute little animals for boys? I don't know. Maybe I'm being ridiculous. And a helicopter mom. <laughs> But I love the zebra. I think this is so cute. And these would actually look really good with his um, his shoes. I'll show you. If you didn't know, my baby's name is Zende. It is Swahili for strong. But we often call him Zen for short. Because he was super chill in my, bib in my belly. <laughs> and um, I mean, he gave me a really good pregnancy. So I always say he's a Zen baby. And he is pretty chill in general. But... Um, Today, I think his gums are hurting. I think it's like the first time I'm seeing him a little bit cranky or moody. This is the bikini I'm gonna put on. This is from Target. Hope you can hear me. <laughs> and these are just some old shorts I have from ASOS. I'm gonna put on top. And then I'll probably put this over top. Trying to decide which color for my toes. These are my two favorites. This one is Cajun, Cajun um, Shrimp by OPI. It's a beautiful red color. And then this one is called Peachy Breeze. I love that this will dry super fast, so I might go with this, even though that's like an all time favorite for my toes. And this is my sunscreen for my face. I like that they has a bit of a tint. I have freckles and I have some sunspots I'm dealing with. And so I have to go with a 50 to protect my skin. So I just put it on as a little bit of a tint. Mm. I don't know if you can tell. Nemo, Nemo, <laughs> you ready to go? You ready to go? Hold your hat. Hold your hat. Oh, 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 oh. Good job. Ready to go? Morning. So it's the next day. Obviously, I forgot to sign off yesterday. <laughs> um, so today I'm wearing these Sophia Webster sandals. Little outfit of the day action. ASOS pants. A little bra top thingy. I can't remember where it's from. Zara kimono dress and a hat from ASOS. And my glasses are from coastal.com. And my necklace, it's like a world map. That's from Blanco Bay is the name. And Zen has a hat 
from Jimbury and his zebra onesie is from I think the place is called Lucky Number Seven. Posted on my Instagram before. And we're off. Hi Zen! <laughs> Hi Zen! We are just going to get something to eat. We actually just left somewhere earlier that we went and all I have to say is I had the most traumatic experience ever because one of my biggest fears is having it's a cockroach. It's cockroaches in general. Cockroaches scare the crap out of me. I went to this place, had a lovely lunch, sat outside. Of course, we're in the heat, nature, all that stuff. Not to say it was like a dirty place by any means. A huge cockroach landed on my ankle while I was holding my baby. And guys, I'm so proud of myself because I did not drop my baby. And uh, everything in me would lead me to believe that I would drop him, but I actually didn't. Hi. <laughs> so I didn't drop my baby, which is a fantastic um, moment and milestone in my life. That means that push comes to shove, I can protect him when stuff hits the fan. So anyways, what I, what I did do is get up and say to my husband, I was like, get him off, get him off. People would just look at me like I was crazy. Um, and I couldn't even like make eye contact with it. I saw it from the corner of my eye and I saw the big huge wings and I just had to look away and tell him to get it off me. And I could feel it crawling on me too. It was so gross. And thank God we were actually leaving at that time so it wasn't like we had to stay and sit there while it was on the wall. So that was fantastic. Yeah. Up there. It's like a well-known thing. Uh, yo, <laughs> it's an interesting thing because like, like within that Canada community, it's like an actual, like a very affluent rich community, right? But mm -hmm. intertwined in the community, like in every community, mm -hmm. there's things that these people don't want. They don't want the ISO, they don't want the community housing, whatever. Mm -hmm. So like certain things, they're just kind of, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 